Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on Key Stage 5 Sketching Gradient Functions. Now what I mean by the gradient function is as we gradually consider different values of x, what is the gradient for each values of x? And then we're going to plot those gradients on a graph. It'll be easiest to see with an example. So I'm just going to copy out this graph that we have here. And what we do is for each point we consider whether the gradient is either positive or negative or zero and whether that gradient is increasing or decreasing or not changing. So it could be, for example, that the gradient is currently negative but it's increasing or it could be that the gradient is negative but it's decreasing and if we consider these two questions at each point that will enable us to sketch the gradient function so let's consider this first point here we can see that the gradient is negative it's going downhill but can you see that the gradient is gradually increasing gradually approaching zero so we can see that the gradient initially is negative so let's put our first gradient here. It's a negative gradient, but it's increasing. Until, can you see at this point here, the gradient is zero at that point. So we can put a little cross here as a point on our gradient function. So in between there, look, the gradient is initially negative, but it's increasing until the gradient is eventually zero. And then let's consider these points after this turning point. We can see that the gradient is now positive and it's increasing. So the gradient is positive and this gradient value is increasing. And there we go, that is our gradient function. And note by the way that the new axis is going to be dy for dx because we were considering the gradient rather than the y value as it was for the original graph. Let's consider this second graph. And again I'm going to copy it. So we've got an asymptote, which is this dotted line. And again, let's consider different points on this graph. So initially, the gradient here we can see is negative because look, the curve is going downhill, but the gradient is gradually increasing again. So gradient is initially negative. Look, there's a negative gradient. Remember, this is now the dy over dx axis rather than the y axis as it was before. And then by this point, with this turning point, the gradient is zero. So it might help actually to start by looking for all the turning points on your graph and saying the gradient is zero. So we've got our gradient function in between these two points. That's not an asymptote, that's our gradient function. It's just I didn't have a different colour pen. And then here we can see the gradient is positive and increasing. But can you see at this point here that the gradient is positive but it's not changing because up to this point the gradient is increasing but after this point can you see the gradient is still positive but it's decreasing and when that happens we actually get a turning point on our gradient function so the gradient of your gradient function is zero and that's a bit confusing I realize let's consider just after this point we can see that the gradient is positive but it's decreasing towards zero. So we can see our gradient function, it's still positive, we've got a positive value here, this is a positive dy of dx, but gradually approaching zero. And can you see here that this curve is becoming flat? The gradient is still technically positive, but the gradient is getting closer and closer to zero. So similarly, our gradient function should be positive, but getting closer and closer to zero. Now this final one is getting quite difficult. I've thrown everything in there. We've got an asymptote again, and we've got this very peculiar shape. Right, so again, let's consider the different parts of this curve. And this new y-axis is actually the dy of the x-axis. So here we can see the gradient is negative, but it's gradually increasing, just like with the two previous examples. So we've got a negative gradient, until this point where we can see the gradient is zero. So we've got dy of dx value, a gradient of zero. And that's our gradient function in between. Now we can see that the gradient is positive here and increasing. But again, we've got this point here where you can see that the line is momentarily straight. Remember we call this a point of inflection, if you haven't seen that before. 
And here, because the gradient is not changing on our gradient function, our gradient here is not changing. And because the gradient is not changing here, on our gradient function, it should be flat. So we get a turning point on our gradient function when on the original curve, we have a point of inflection where the graph is exactly straight. And then here, we can see that the gradient is still positive, but decreasing. So it's just the same as we had before until the gradient here, we have a stationary value, that's again a point of inflection, but the gradient here is zero, so we got a gradient of zero. And then after that, look, the gradient is now positive and increasing, until here where the graph is momentarily straight, because it was curving this way, but now it's curving that way. So when the graph is momentarily straight, that point of inflection, we have a turning point on the gradient function, confusingly, until we get to this point up here where the gradient is now zero. So the gradient is zero at that point. And then look, the gradient is negative, but decreasing. Remember, we always ask these two questions here. So the gradient is negative, but decreasing. So it's negative and decreasing until this point of inflection again, where the gradient is negative, but not changing. So we get a turning point on our gradient function. And then this last section, the gradient is negative, but increasing. And we can see here that the gradient is still negative, but gradually approaching zero. So it flattens out like that, tending towards the x-axis.